G'day viewers, I bring you once more Hospital Man. Hello, hello, it's me, I'm in hospital. Look, I've got things in me, check it out, check it out. I've got buns and stuff, you can stick things right in my body. It's good. But we want to talk to you today about weird and potentially troubling things that are happening outside of AIDS's body. Which is odd, because it's not often. Yeah, but we're talking about people having problems with what they describe as inappropriate hermaphrodites. Yes, we've all been there though. I mean, this, this has happened in Sweden with a town council having a problem, which interestingly Sweden leads to... Sweden Poland? Did I say Sweden? You said Sweden. I want to start again, yeah? No, don't start again. Let's no. not start again. Let's right. just cruise through because what, what I would like the viewers at home to know is that occasionally AIDSy picks up mistakes. Yeah. All the time, angry is the one with facts, but occasionally, just once in a while, just in the incy, spincy, wine, wincy spider goes up the water spout, AIDSy gets flushed down with the rain. And in on top Poland. of everything, mm. the druggings and whatever's that they're doing to you, <laughs> you're on top of that. Mm -hmm. And in Poland, there's a town council concerned with uh, what they're calling inappropriate hermaphrodite. Oh, I've, I've been that way. Which assumes that there's a whole slew of appropriate hermaphrodites. That they're completely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. You've got to be okay with your appropriate hermaphrodite. Yeah. Worms, various so, different chordata. And this involves a kid's playground, so you can understand why they're being a bit touchy. Yes, be a bit, bit concerned, be a bit onto it, be a bit onto it. But the big problem they're having is with Winnie the Pooh. Ah. And now, look, we've all commented at some point about various cartoon characters are uh, not wearing pants. Oh, I'd like my honey now, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh, uh, Humphrey B. Bear, Humphrey uh, B. Bear, Donald Duck, uh. you know. But uh, there's a, in a small town in Poland, they wanted to have a mascot for a park and someone suggested Winnie the Pooh and a few local councillors got mighty worked up about that possibility. Lost their minds, titled, yeah. freaked and out. they're like, they have a problem, not just that he's not wearing pants. Although and he's not wearing pants. He's not. Let's that's, face it, Winnie the Pooh is not wearing pants. They're not making stuff up when they say that. No. Um, but then they're... I'm not wearing pants. Check it out. But, you know, oh. it's okay. Because, look. Well, it's, it's like well, mentioning pants around this guy is like a terrible mistake. But I'm not supposed to be wearing pants. No, so it's appropriate that I'm not wearing pants. Yeah. It's appropriate that Winnie the Pooh's not wearing pants because he's a traitor. Yes, and the, I, I actually want to quote you a couple of pieces because they're very specific in their language. Look, it's, it's one thing, they're saying he also has dubious sexuality. I suppose it's because he hangs around with a little boy all the time. He hangs around with a little boy all the time and it depends how much money you've got, frankly. Yeah. That's what and his sexuality is. Apparently there's a, a local Polish fictional bear who's fully clothed, who these councillors believe sets the trend. Well, yeah. If he's fully clothed, what are we talking well, about this filthy English bear with, with, no, with pants? no pants? Who hangs around toilets, mm. hands out board lollies. I think you know what I'm saying. And I, I think that one councillor might have been trying to urge a bit of, ooh, I don't know, sanity of when they said uh, the reason Winnie the Pooh doesn't wear underpants is because Winnie the Pooh doesn't actually have a gender. Oh! oh. Which seems awfully convenient. Yeah, nice. Seems nice. Awfully convenient. It, yeah. It's as if they're sa this person's trying to I say... I came down in the last shower. Oh, piss on my back and tell me it's raining. Ho, Winnie, ho, ho. Winnie the Pooh is actually just a soft toy not uh, an ambulant human, and therefore maybe don't obsess so much about genitals or lack thereof. Oh, great. We'll go back to your fantasy mm. wonderland where things have no genitalia. But one councillor is having nothing to do with it. And I want to find, again, it's really important to get this type of quote Just right, really. accurate <laughs> mm. because it's pretty um, strange when one councillor whose uh, name is apparently Hannah... Jack Minchka uh, said it wasn't enough to go on about Winnie the Pooh, actually went against the author A.A. A. Milne <laughs> and said, this is very disturbing, but you can imagine the author was over 60 and cut Pooh's testicles off with the razor blade because he had a problem with his identity. 
you know what? Mm, as someone who's experienced something like that, not a hundred miles removed from that. Not a hundred miles removed from that. I can relate to this council and, and I reckon, I reckon all power to her. Because it's not about her smallness of attitude, it's not about her bigotry, it's not about her prejudice, it's actually about ethics in games journalism.